And then Freddie Peralta looking for some redemption after last year's career worst outing against the Giants when he gave up a career high 10 runs four of those were earned in a 15 to 1 defeat. Do not look for those same results here tonight. It's been down here for Freddie and he's really just trying to reinvent himself a little bit. He's pitching a little bit more to contact as of late just two strikeouts in his last outing against the St. Louis Cardinals in five innings of work 92 pitches. But let's see what Freddie Peralta has in store tonight. It does start with Lamont Wade Jr. Lamont takes ball four up and away. Wow, that turned into a really good plate appearance to start the game. That brings up Tyler Fitzgerald, talented young shortstop of the Giants. And he got him back to the spinner. And the first out of the ball game for Peralta is a strikeout. He's the first out. Here's Michael Conforto now. A little tapper. Peralta's got it. Out at second. Adamas throw to Forrest is in time. A rare double play for Freddie Peralta. He'll take him when he can get him. Excellent play by Willie Adamas. And here's a look at the numbers for Kyle Harrison on the year. He's got a 7 and 5 with a 4. 117 innings, 108 strikeouts, just 38 walks. He's been excellent with the four seamer. He gets elite extension, and he's got a good fastball. Jackson Churio with a shot heard around Milwaukee last night. And this is where that home run landed, 449 feet away. Right on the scoreboard, it knocked out a, a panel. So there was a, a dark area there yesterday, and they've uh, fixed everything. And uh, that's not just a, a band aid. That, that's actual part of the digital board now, number 11 up there. I love that. It was a great idea by the crew here at American Family Field. His first pitch of the game is hit to center field, way up there. It'll be Grant McCray waiting for it to come down. It was like it was never going to come down. And it That's, finally did. Perkins muscles one into center field to base hit. And speed on the bags. Well, William Contreras, who last night wore out the Giants without getting a hit. He saw 35 pitches all by himself last night. He's Contreras hits a high fly ball. Stremski's got room out there. Now, number two. Today's cleanup hitter, Willie Adamas for the Brewers. As the pitch is swung on and missed strike three. So Harrison gets his first strikeout. We go to the second in Milwaukee. Nothing, nothing. Well, Mike Yastrzemski coming up here. Yastrzemski takes a call strike three. Freddie dots the bottom of the zone. His second strikeout, a three up, three down second inning for fastball Freddie. Gary Sanchez, he's the DH tonight for the Brewers. Swings at this pitch, rolls it up the middle, far to his left. It's Gerald, loves it, spins, throws, and it's in time. He got him. A one hop throw, easily dug out by Lamont Wade Jr. Here's Monasterio. Got him. Fastball 94 at the knees. Second strikeout for Harrison. He's pitching well in this one. Tyro Strada is coming up, rips one into left field for a base hit. Tyro is aboard. And that'll get Grant McCray to the plate. And a check swing didn't matter. Called third strike on a fastball at 96 on the inner half. Peralta with a big fastball. And back to back K's after a leadoff single. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Breaks his bat. Look out. Bat head flies. Monasterio there to make the play. And Freddie Peralta. Nice and tidy in the third. Picks up a couple of K's. Puts up another zero. Kyle Harrison against Joey Ortiz. Feel like he's going to be a big part of their future. But in this at bat, Kyle Harrison got it. Two for four in last night's game for Sal. Batting average up to 266. Pretty like a little pop up. Conforto coming in and he will slide and he caught it. What a great catch by Michael Conforto. Harrison with a great fastball and look at Conforto fly. Sells out, barely misses, hugs the tarp a little bit. What a play right there, nonchalant, but heck of an effort. Maybe gave the tarp a little smooch. And there's one away in this fourth inning, and that'll get Michael Conforto to the plate. Peralta with four strikeouts. He had two last inning. He's had a K in each of the first three innings. And put another one on the board. Bernie Peralta. Well, he says he wants to pitch more to contact, but I think he ditched that idea in the first. Tyro Estrada, he's got the only hit for San Francisco. Swing and a miss. Slider down and out of the zone. Estrada's gone swinging. One and two, the count. And how about that inning as McCray strikes out? Changeup was a good pitch against McCray last time around, and it is this time around. Three up, three down. Seven Ks for Freddie Peralta. Outside ball four. 
Missed with a fastball, and it's the second walk of the inning. He not missing by much on those last two pitches. Here comes Churio with two on and two out. Churio, base hit in the right field. Here comes Monasterio. He'll score. Freelick to third. And the kid comes through again. Jackson Churio puts the Brewers on the board first. Here's Blake Perkins. That one's in the air. Left field hit pretty well. Conforto on the run. Can't get there. It's off the wall. Freelick is in. Churio is in. It's a two RBI double for Blake Perkins. Three to nothing Milwaukee. What a swing right here for Blake Perkins. Harrison will stay and face Contreras who launches one. Just like that, it is five to nothing, Brewers. What a blast from William. Wow, 435 foot monster shot from him, a two run blast. After two quick outs, has two on with a power hitter coming up in Elliot Ramos. And you got to push through. One swing of the bat could change the complexion of this game. Runners go, and a swing and a miss. He got him a changeup. Oh. Freddie Peralta coming up with a combio. Had him thinking fastball all the way. Pulled the string on him. And will end his night with eight strikeouts. Well done, Freddie. And Matt Chapman to lead things off in the top of the seventh. Dr shot drilled into right center field from Chapman off the bottom of the wall. Beautiful swing that was into second with a leadoff double. Chapman advancing to third. Set the table for Tyro. Big chopper toward third. That's a fair ball. Ortiz, and what a play. No. He pulled Hoskins off the bag, so Tyro's safe, and Chapman's in to score. Get him over, get him in. That should be a hit for Tyro. First time tonight that Joey has reached, and he's aboard in front of Sal Freelich. Freelich chops it foul at the plate. That got a piece of his foot, and he's hopping around. No balls and two strikes on Sal, who's going to get a little time to work this one out. He is in some pain and he is limping. Freela took a shot off his foot. No, oh, off the shin. And the back knee got him twice. Ouch, pinball. I'll tell you what, Kyle Tucker of the Astros had a very similar foul ball. He's been out three months almost. Dave Yeager, athletic trainer, is out to tend to Freelick. Says he's good. And a soft liner is going to be a double play. Ortiz was on the move. Freelich got jammed and lines out. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he stays in this ball game. He hits a little jam job right back to Austin Warren, the pitcher who doubles off Joey Ortiz, who is running on the pitch. And you can tell that Sal's hurting a little bit. Sal Freelich taken out of the game after that foul ball off his shin. Garrett Mitchell will enter and right. Another base hit for Tyler. Gives Conforto a chance here in the eighth inning. Jacks down five to one. Drives that one down the left field line and right over the head of the left fielder Churio. Fitzgerald coming around third. The relay throw is coming home. It's going to be late. Fitzgerald scores and it's five to two. Chip away, chip away. Ramos coming up. He lights that one into center field. That's another hit. Conforto coming around third and he's going to score without a throw. And the Giants have gotten themselves back in this game. It's five to three. Got to have a short memory when you're a reliever in the big leagues and Yoel Piams after giving up the home run last night the decisive home run to Yastrzemski he's back out there to try to get the last out of the eighth inning and Chapman strikes out he went right back to it Piams right back on the horse gets a big strikeout it's a safe situation for Devin Williams yeah going for his sixth save of the season one away oh yeah gave him the airbender the signature pitch and a strikeout for out number two of the ninth. Yeah, when they're executed this well, I almost think it doesn't even matter if the hitter is sitting on the change. If look at the movement. Grant McCray, the last hope for San Francisco. That should do it. Fly ball, center field, and Perkins is there, and the ball game is over. The Brewers win. Devin Williams closes the door. Three up, three down with a strikeout, and the Brewers back to winning ways and have even up this series, Vinny, at one apiece.